The 2016 election results are in, and at the top of the ballot, voters supported Donald Trump and Johnny Isaacson. However, it was the slightly changing demographic that had many folks eyeing Georgia. While voters in 2008 and 2012 voted significantly for Republicans, there was a slight leftward shift in the vote total from 2016 as Democrats took back 2.7% from the Republicans in 2012. This is definitely something to keep an eye on for future national and statewide elections. Three of the four constitutional amendments were affirmed with Governor Deal's signature education vote getting struck down 60% to 40%. Further down the ballot, voters had significantly fewer options than national elections. Starting in the Senate, 43 of the 56 senators ran unopposed, and only one seat switched hands, that of incumbent Janet Van Ness. Three new Republican senators will join the 154th session of the General Assembly, which begins on Monday, January 11th. The remaining 51 seats will not change hands. As to the Georgia House of Representatives, there were only 31 contested seats out of 180. 26 new representatives will take the oath of office in 2017, and two Republican incumbents, Mike Chirokas and Valerie Clark, were outseated in closely contested races. However, the balance of power will stay squarely in the hands of Republicans with a 118 to 62 majority. Keep staying engaged, Georgia, and look out for our next video coming to you soon. Also, please follow us on Twitter for more in-depth information about what's going on with Georgia politics. Thanks for watching.